Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to start the problems on the concept of integrating factors. See the statement of the given problem. Solve y square dx plus x square minus xy minus y square dy is equal to 0. Clearly here we are observing that given equation is in the form of given differential equation is of the form mdx plus ndy is equal to 0. So you should write what is the value of m and what is the value of m. What is the value of m coefficient of dx? It is y square. And what is capital M coefficient of dy? Which is x square minus xy minus y square. So first of all, we have to find out whether the given equation is exact or not. For that purpose, check the condition for exactness, which is do m by do y is equal to do m by do x. Otherwise, do m by do y is not equal to do m by do x. We have to verify it now. Okay. So, your partial differentiation of m with respect to y is simply 2 y. Okay. See here, partial differentiation of m with respect to x. In this case, except x remaining are, are all constants, particularly y terms are constants. So, derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x minus derivative of x with respect to x is 1. 1 into y, y it would be 0. So, 2y is different to the 2x minus 1. So, immediately we conclude that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou m by dou x. So, given equation is non-exact. Given differential equation is non-exact. Okay. So, we should make the given non-exact equation to exact by multiplying with a integrating factor. So, for finding the integrating factor, we should observe the structure of the given equation. We should observe the form of the given equation. Clearly, given equation is a homogeneous differential equation because in, in capital M, you have second degree term. In capital N also, we have only second degree term. Okay. So, that's why. But we observe that. We observe that. given differential equation is homogeneous okay the degree of the variables in the entire equations are same that's why given equation is homogeneous in this case integrating factor is equal to 1 by mx plus ny 1 by mx plus ny so multiply terms of m with the x which is xy square plus now multiply each term of capital N with y now, which is x square y minus x y square minus y cube. Okay, y square already is there. We are multiplying with y. That's why y square into y y cube. We are observing that uh, first term is x y square and third term is minus x y square. So remaining term is one by x square y minus y cube. So I will write as y into y is the common term in both parts of the denominator. So, 1 by y into x square minus y square. So, this is the integrating factor. Okay. So, now, after getting the integrating factor, immediately multiply the given non-exact equation with the integrating factor. What is the value of integrating factor? 1 by y into x square minus y square. So, given differential equation becomes to how becomes to here this is not equation number one I didn't give the equation number one you may give the given equation to equation number one then write equation one. so it comes to how y square whole by y into x square minus y square into dx plus x square minus xy minus y square over by x square minus y square y is also there in the product into dy is equal to 0 so this is nothing but how can we get this equation so one by getting cancelled so y by x square minus y square into dx plus x square minus xy minus y square whole by y into x square minus y square 
into dy is equal to 0. Take the equation number 2 because I gave equation number 1 to the given differential equation. Now 2 is exact. No doubt at all. Whenever you are multiplying given non exact equation with integrating factor, surely given equation becomes exact. Okay. So here I will write the new terms as m1 instead of m, which is y by x square minus y square. And what about capital N1? See here, I will separate the terms as x square minus y square. First term and last term as one part minus x1, middle term is second part by y into x square minus y square. Now split the terms, this one by this one. So this one, this one getting cancelled. Simply we will get 1 by y minus 1 by getting cancelled. So x by x square minus y square. This is n1. Now we have to write the general solution C. So the required general solution is integration of m1 dx. New term is represented with the m1. Here y is constant, don't forget. Plus integral terms of n. This is the formula for general solution of an exact equation. Already in many problems we discussed about this formula. So please follow carefully. Is equal to c. So what is of integration of m1 y by x square minus y square into dx? Don't forget it. Here y is constant. Okay, it like a real number. Plus integral. Don't write all terms. X is not in one. That's why I will take only one by y. Don't take this term because x is involved in the second term. One into d is equal to c. That implies y by y is the constant term, and the remaining part is in the form of integration of one by x square minus a square. What is integration of one by x square minus a square? One by two a into log mod x minus a by x plus a. According to this formula, we have y instead of a. So 1 by 2y into log mod x minus y by x plus y. Plus integration of 1 by y is log y is equal to, since remaining all terms as log terms, I will take log c instead of c only. So here y y getting cancelled. And take this 1 by 2 to the power because we have n into log x is equal to log x power n 2. Okay, so log mod x minus y all by x plus y whole power 1 by 2 plus log y is equal to c. And again, it is in the form of log n plus log n. So log m n. After that, you can add log on both sides. You will get y into root over x minus whole power 1 by 2 means square root by x plus y is equal to c. Otherwise, you can squaring on both sides, you will get y square into x minus y is equal to parameter c square into x plus y. This is the short form of the general solution. In this way, you can easily find out the general solution of given equation. In the next video, I will give some more problems on the concept of integrating factors. Thank you very much.